What could possibly suck? There's no washer and dryer. <laughs> That's funny. We have been traveling for, we've been gone for a month and we, did, we have washed our clothes when we left Texas, but we left Texas a week ago and we have a lot of dirty clothes. And it's just funny because like they're all in trash bags. So we're at this nice Airbnb and all of we're gonna bring all of our clothes up in trash bags. No, we're not. Why would we even bring them up? Oh, we're not gonna bring them up? No, we don't okay. have anywhere to wash okay, them. Okay, good. <laughs> This has been the worst period of my life. Not that it's about me, it's obviously about my mom. It's been horrible for her, but it has been extremely difficult this last five weeks. So my husband and I, my our three-year-old and our three-month-old baby drove from Idaho to Houston. We're not in Houston anymore. And I'm just gonna back up and tell the whole story. Hopefully it's not that confusing. So we drove 2,600 miles from Idaho to Houston in my parents' car, thinking that like they would be in Houston for the next you know six months while my mom receives cancer treatment for brain cancer. We get to Houston to we get to Houston a day after my mom has her first major treatment for brain cancer to find out what type of cancer she has. And we originally thought she had something called central nervous system lymphoma, which is a really rare but treatable type of brain cancer. After she gets her this surgery, she, we now know that she has something called glioblastoma, which is even worse than what we originally thought. And we didn't think it could get worse, but it did. <laughs> and it was really awful. So she gets, she has her surgery and we arrived in Houston the next day and she was feeling really good. It was like she was back to her old self. And then she had an immediate decline in an hour. We had about a day and a half together where we just were able to luckily like really enjoy each other's company. And she just went, had a major decline and started getting like really confused. And the same symptoms that happened when we first when she first went to the hospital a month ago, happened again. So she went to the hospital and then she was in the hospital for six days. And just in that six days, she started experiencing, like, you know, getting really confused. She wasn't able to speak because where the cancer is in her brain affects her speech. And after six days in the hospital, we just felt that we wanted to, as a family, and obviously my mom ag agreed to this, that we wanted to go to, we were accepted to a different treatment center in California, and it was closer to Idaho, and it was just better for everyone, for better for my mom and better for everyone, for my mom to go to a different treatment center in California. So here we are now in California, we drove again from Houston to California. <laughs> and we've been here for a couple days. We leave in three days and go back to Idaho. But it has been a really the craziest period of my life. I mean, we were expecting to stay in Houston and be in Houston for, month, for like six months. But that just didn't work out. So now we drove across the country again to California and we're in California. So was so overwhelmed with everything with my mom and I really had to give her all of my attention and I was so, we were all so emotionally drained. Like there was no filming because we were just, um, like I was crying all the time and really horribly upset. But mom is doing a lot better. She is at a special treatment center here in California 
And if you watch the next vlog, you will see her. So thank you for watching my video. I kind of took a turn. <laughs> but here we are in California and just thank you for watching and please subscribe to Chloe Simone Says. Okay. <laughs> what did you do, Brian? Like that was amazing. I had to go buy some shirts because the laundry. No laundry. And the owner of the surf shop was like really knowledgeable. He was a CB. My dad was a CB, so we were talking about the Navy for a little bit. And then uh, he was actually the mayor of Malibu. What? Yeah. What? He, he was. <laughs> and when I went to pay for the shirts, what? the shirts were like $16. <laughs> and he's like, these ones are a little more expensive, but I promise you. And he knew about like the like Coeur d'Alene and the Memorial Bridge. And he was really fun to talk to. He was in the, in the CBs, just like my dad. Uh -huh. And then we, I go to pay. He was talking about how expensive the shirts were at $16. I'm like, dude, we're in Malibu. Are you kidding me? $16. He's the mayor of Malibu? He like, was, for real? Yeah, he was really the mayor. And when he was the mayor of Malibu, he's like, yeah, when they raised the state income tax to 10%, He's like, I left it in Malibu at 9%. And then the, the day, the same day, the next mayor came in, he raised it to 10%. Wait, so he's not the mayor? Not anymore. He was, oh, he the, was the mayor. He was the mayor. He's not oh, currently. That is the mayor. so funny. Guess what? We're going to the beach. Like... I would never have been like, oh, we're going to Malibu for the weekend. Oh my gosh. No, I would never have thought that would even be in like the realm of something I would do. But this Airbnb was on a special sale and it was actually just like $40 more than our hotel. So we decided to come here for the weekend. And we also thought it would be really nice for my mom because on Saturday she gets a break from her treatment and she's gonna come, they're gonna come here on Saturday which we have ended this video and we can walk along the beach. We can sit on this balcony. And that was like the main incentive for us to get this Airbnb so she could breathe in some fresh ocean, salty air, get some vitamin D and it all worked out. So we are in Malibu. This Airbnb is so cute it's small oh look there's your baby but look how cute we've got a little table a little um kitchen and if you go out here oh wait that's locked wow walking barefoot which I never do my feet have not seen the outside world like this in like a year so right now we are going to check out the beach Byron said he's gonna get in the water but it is really cold the water is probably like wow I wondered what those buckets were for. Yeah, I had I didn't know. I've always wondered how these houses were over the water like this, the beach, but there are these pillars in the baby. The water is cold. I did not want it to touch my feet. Are you jumping on the bed? Jump. How's that going, Byron? <laughs> well, it has 
supposed to work, right? What are you going to hold? Where the mattress is. Now pull it up, pull it upside down. Oh, you got it. Alright. That's great. Well, if you guys can't sleep here, we can all fit in the other bed. So the plan is for, like, Byron and Hendrix are going to sleep on this, and then Charlotte and I are going to sleep in the other room. But it doesn't go all the way down. What do you mean? Like, this has to go. I'm just like, this. Oh, boy. What? what is that? Did you build that fire with daddy? Yeah. Not put this in the fire. What? Not put this in the fire. Wow. Not put this in the fire. Not put this in the fire. What are you going to put in the fire? slow morning in Malibu. I didn't really sleep that great last night. I had the baby right next to me and I just kept waking up and that's okay. It's I feel energized because I'm at this beautiful, chill beach condo. Byron and I have really like never done anything like this. We've actually we got married during COVID and so we didn't take a vacation and then we had this little guy. I mean, we've taken like weekend trips, so we've never done anything like this. So this has been really, really special. We've been staying in a lot of hotels and Airbnbs, but it's been really nice to have this Airbnb because we could make ourselves breakfast and didn't have to go out to eat. And last night we made dinner, which was really nice. We just made something simple for breakfast, sausage, and eggs. ready to go to the beach. There's a lot of things. We gotta get the beach toys. We got the bathing suits. We got the sunscreen. Do I have the sunscreen? What did I do with the sunscreen? Look at the car. No, it was, I just had it. No, I just found it. I just found it. It's a stick. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Can I have the sunglasses? Yeah. Thank you. So when we started this trip, we didn't know we were coming to 
we would end up in California. We were not prepared. But. Actually, well, I wasn't prepared because I don't even have a bathing suit that's fits me. Come on. Okay, time to go to the beach. Come here. Yeah. It's a beach. I got Charlotte a bathing suit. Bathing suit has a matching hat. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> Look at you! You like the sand? Oh my gosh! Hendrix really likes the sand. So we are at this is Cannon Beach, Surf Rider Beach in Malibu. Again, I just can't believe I'm even saying those words. I just talked to my brother, Robbie, and he was like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "I'm in Malibu." It was so crazy. I can't believe those words even coming out of my mouth. One thing about me, I love beef jerky. Mm. Do you like beef jerky? Let me know in the comments. The water is a little cold for me. I'm a wimp when it comes to the temperature of water. I really only like water that's really, really warm. Like I take extremely hot showers and baths. So this water here, it's a little cool for my preference, but Byron and Hendrix have been swimming in it and it's so cute to see and Hendrix is loving all this sand. I don't know how we're going to get all this sand off of him. So earlier we went to Whole Foods. I'm not sure if I said this, but one of the greatest things that I have learned about California is that they have amazing grocery stores here. Grocery stores are so nice and we just don't really have all of that where we live in Idaho because we live in a small town. We just have less oh, options. Like we don't have, like at the grocery store, you just can't, there's just less options available. Like we went to Whole Foods, which is so, such a nice store. And they just have like, had more like locally, local fish and really nice produce. And it's just different where we live in Idaho because it's landlocked. Oh, I'm sunburned. So we got some rockfish. Do you know, know anything about rockfish, Byron? No. So Byron is cooking rockfish. I mean, it's a light white fish. So it's a light white fish. It's a light. On, rockfish is a light white fish. We have rockfish. We bought some just easy like pre-made sides of fingerling potatoes and kale. Since we've been here, We've more gone out to eat for lunch and then cooked in for dinner and breakfast, which is the way to go. It's just too hard to, you know, get the kids ready to go back out for you a dinner. You want to out every meal. No, I don't really like, I mean, I love eating out and good, we really like good food, but it just get kind of exhausting to eat out and it's expensive to eat out for every meal, my goodness. So it's nice to have in this Airbnb because it feels more like a home. And it's just the way to go with the kids. The only thing is we don't have any coffee to, for tomorrow. And we don't have, uh, we picked an Airbnb that doesn't have laundry. Yeah, I talked about that. 
it's kind of annoying, but... And it's supposed to be rainy tomorrow, so we'll have to figure that out. But coffee is a must. Okay, can, I need coffee in the morning. We are having a really rainy day in Malibu for our last day on our little vacation. But I'm most excited about this because my mom and dad and Lily and Luke are all coming over here for dinner. Um, it is a bummer that it is raining, but no point in complaining on something you can't control. Hendrix is just like, you got a water bottle? Wow, that's a water bottle. Yeah, this is a water bottle. So they're gonna come over and we're just gonna make a nice dinner and I'm really excited to see my mom before. Why would you do that, Hendrix? Why would you do that? And I'm really excited to see my mom before we go home to Idaho tomorrow. Hi, this is Gigi. Probably have you heard by now that I was I was struck with a very bad um, cancer in the brain. It's not been easy, but we've been blessed with wonderful doctors. Right now are in California trying to recuperate. We did some brain surgery, and you can see I'm talking, and I feel so blessed to have been able to come this far with what we're doing. And I just want to thank you all so much for all of your kind words and all of your encouragement. Thank you. We're so happy to have this time with you, Mom. And it's been a uh, really hard couple of <laughs> weeks. But we're getting through it. And She's I doing just. better every day. Yep, I, I know. So you're encouraged. so much better for, yeah. I can talk perfectly well and I can write, not really well, but I can write and I can read and I can walk a half a mile and just what could we, a week ago today, I really could not really talk too well at all. So look at me now. Yeah, I mean, you didn't know who any of us were. Ooh, so. Don't talk about that, but it's not, it, it's been very hard and I don't mind saying it's been hard, but I feel blessed have so many friends and so many encouraging words and I'm sorry if I haven't been able to send you more um, personal messages but writing was really hard for me but now I can write a little bit so it's best for me to actually do a little video for everyone because anything more than that is really a struggle for me. We're doing, Thanks. We're doing, doing so good. much Thank better. You. And, and I'm happy. We're all here together for one last day before I go back to Idaho. And so nice having Lily here. And I think maybe in a couple weeks or next month, I'll come back to visit you with the baby. We're staying here for a few months because I'm in a program to help my particular brain problem. And um, so it's just best for me not to move around much, stay where I'm at, and, and try focusing on getting well. And that's what I'm doing. Okay, I think so I've said enough. Oh, and thank you to, ev thank you to everyone who participated in our Gigi <gasps> sweatshirt oh, fundraiser. that helped us so much. I can't believe all the sweatshirts we, we have sold. We do have a few left in small and extra large in white. And I will be relisting a few more in various sizes in the next couple of weeks. Um, so if you didn't get any navy, if you want a sweatshirt in navy, I will be putting those out soon. But thank you so much to everyone who bought the thank Gigi you. sweatshirt. That really helped us because we got struck with this cancer like that. Like we had an app four hours to get ready and go. So now that, and we've done so many different things, but the 
the Gigi sweat shirts really helped us a lot, helped me get together with things that I didn't know I needed to do. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Thank you for your prayers. Too. Yes, thank you for the prayers. They're amazing. Thank you. I think that's it now. <laughs> and now I don't gonna, want to talk too much. And now we're going to go enjoy our steak dinner that Byron is cooking for us. Thank you. God bless everyone. Thank you. How's your diet, Mom? Well, I'm keto. I'm really sick of it, but I have to do it for my brain health. And it's not too bad. I'm doing really good. The thing yeah. I really like in California are the avocados. They've been so good. I like I don't say that. Far 